What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So finally, finally, the moment that many people have been waiting for was for undefeated, three-division, five-time world champion, superstar Bassa, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the face, if not one of the faces of the sport of boxing if not the sole face, definitely one of the faces. Top three, top two, in my opinion, face of the sport of boxing, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 29 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch armage. Javante Tank Davis is coming off of the biggest win of his career. As far as markability goes, okay, Javante Tank Davis, April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. The biggest marquee fight and win in his career. He defeated former lightweight, now junior welterweight, Mexican-American superstar title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, who is now 24 wins, one loss, no draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. He knocked him out in the seventh round, dropped him in the second round. But that said, Javante Tank Davis has been on somewhat of a roller coaster ride, right? A little bit of a roller coaster ride. Javante Tank Davis, uh, he, after that fight, May Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, he was sentenced for um, an alleged, and I'm going to say alleged because I wasn't there an alleged hit and run that took place and he was served, he was sentenced to 90 days uh, house arrest where he ended up serving 30 days in the four seasons, downtown Baltimore. The judge wasn't happy. The judge decided, you know something, you're going to serve the remainder of your sentence in jail. So he actually went to jail for 40 plus days. He came out, he has to do community service, so on and so forth. So he has a lot of restrictions. As Javante Tank Davis stated, uh, he's trying to move forward with his life, but he's, he feels like the judge is restricting him. Nonetheless, Javante Tank Davis has been involved with the law way too often for what seems to be his likening. And Javante Tank Davis decided that he's going to go a righteous path. He wants to turn his life around. He wants to live righteous. He wants to live a meaningful life. He bought the block he once grew up on as a child that is in poverty situations. Uh, and he decided to hand his life over to Islamic faith. He's now a Muslim, right? And he changed his name to Abdul Wahid, right? Which is the definition of the servant of the servant of the one, okay? Uh, now, one says slave of the one, another one says servant of the one. I'd rather go with servant of the one, okay? Meaning the most high, Allah, okay? Uh, and so with that said, Javante Tank Davis changed his name, right? And he's going down a different path and to which that was met with a lot of criticism from his quote-unquote so-called fans and brothers and Javante Tank Davis he stated now with so much criticism everybody you had people saying I'm not going to believe Javante Tank Davis is actually uh switching over and and um you know uh committing to Islamic faith is converting over to being a Muslim uh until he actually says something I'm not going to believe that he actually changed his name until he actually said something. And now Javante Tank Davis has stated something. And he is seeing firsthand, to a lesser degree, what the late, great, legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar boxer, formerly known as Cassius Clay, now known as Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's uh, name was Cassius Clay to begin with. And then he switched his name to Muhammad Ali once he converted to Islamic Muslim faith, 
right? And so now Javante Tain Davis has done the exact same thing. Uh, and I say to a lesser degree because Muhammad Ali was going through many changes where it wasn't even, uh, there was a lot of still segregation between blacks and whites uh, and blacks didn't have still a lot of rights and were limited in a lot of the things that they could participate in. So he was fighting for equality as well. It was a completely different time, right? Um, but now, Javante Tank Davis is going through it, and he is seeing that he had a very strong, very, dare I say, rabbit fan base that was that supports him. And now they are starting to switch up on him because Javante Tank Davis switched his name and is now of Islamic faith a Muslim faith. And so Javante Tank Davis, he finally responds and he says, point blank and period, that you can't make a change and you can't better yourself today's time. It's impossible. Now he used other words to describe it, but he essentially saying it's impossible for me to better myself. All I want to do is better myself. Why is that a problem? If I want to change my name. So he stated that he was initially going to wait until he do an interview uh, with a boxing media outlet and announced of his his name change. Uh, but now he said that, you know, um, he's not going to, you know, um, do that now. And he's saying that, you know, uh, he simply just doesn't like people. Right. He said, I'm not a people person and I never will be a people's person. And. You know, um, this is part of the reason why I won't be a people's person, right? Uh, and so uh, people were saying to him, well, you'll you'll eventually be a people person. You know, the likes of Mike Tyson and uh, other fighters in the past, they they weren't people, per people either, you know. Um, but eventually, you know, once they retired, they became people people. Uh, this is what Javante Tank Davis had to say, quote, why people don't understand you grow every day. Uh, like it's blank impossible to change nowadays, right? Uh, and then he says, um, "Quote: Sorry to say, I was gonna wait until I did an interview to get to get this off my chest, uh, but I don't think I'm doing any of that anytime soon. But you all not my brothers. I did this to heal my soul, not for y'all. I'm not a people person and never will be, right? So he's saying I didn't do this." Uh, for the people. I did this to heal my soul, right? Uh, so somebody says, quote, you will be one day when you retire. Tyson and, and Larry Holmes uh, weren't people persons, but once they retired, they realized how much people really love them and how grateful we are for them. Same thing will apply to you and you'll realize that the people love you far outweigh, the people that love you far outweigh the hate. Stay positive. And then Javante Tank Davis, he responded to that by saying, a uh, quote, when I say I will never be a people person, I mean, I mean it never. Uh, and so Javante Tank Davis clearly has trust issues, you know, with people. And that's not a bad thing. Why is it a bad thing that Javante Tank Davis wants to stay to himself? Why is it a bad thing that he wants to, if he's not a people person? Right. Um, it's not a bad thing at all whatsoever, because probably 80 by 80 percent of the people around him are looking to pull something from him more than uh, actually uplift him. They're looking to get something out of him. Right. Um, and that's in every walk in life. It's natural. So it's not a bad thing if he don't want to be a people person and he don't want to talk to people. That's his right. If he want to change his walk of life to do what he said, better his soul, that's all right. Why is it a problem if that's what he wants to do? It shouldn't be a problem at all whatsoever. And so, you know, uh, people had major issues with the fact that Muhammad Ali changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali, even fighters. You know, remember, he had that famous fight where he told his opponent, my name is Muhammad Ali. 
and the fighter said, your mama named you Clay, I'm going to call you Clay, right? And he proceeded to dominate that fight and say, what's my name? What's my name, right? And so with that said, you know, uh, I, I knew this. Immediately, you could go and look at the video I did. I said, this is not going to bowl over well because people going to have an issue that he changed his name, right? And lo and behold, lo and behold, it's unfortunate. But blessings to Javante Tank Davis on his walk and his path and his journey in life. Only he can walk his journey in life. Only he can walk his path. Just be fans of him as a, in, the, in the sense of the sport of boxing. Uh, his performance, his um, his talent, uh, his skill set in the boxing ring, and let him live his life outside the boxing ring as he so choose fit, period. Appreciate what he does in his talent inside the square circle and let him live and be his own person outside the square circle, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.